Hey you guys, it's me, Nikki. <clears throat> hey, I saw this really cool thing on YouTube and I wanted to see if I could make it. It was by Pink Strawberries and she got the inspiration by somebody else. I'll have to look at it and put it and tag them. But what it is, is a folio that you make out of um, an eight by 12. So this would be, you would fold it here and then like this, okay? And then these are seven by 12. So these are gonna be inside pockets like, like these are gonna fold out like this. I don't know if you can tell, like just like that. But since they're not double-sided, I'm gonna sew these um, together. So I'm gonna sew these two together to make that kind of pocket. And I'm gonna sew these two together to make that pocket over here. So once I do that, I will be back. I'm just gonna do the video like this because I know it's gonna take me a while, but we'll decorate it together and stuff like that. So I will see you in a minute. Okay, you guys, um, I've sewed around all these so that they have two sides. Thank goodness they're right side up. I don't know what I would have done if they weren't because I wasn't paying attention. And so now I have to fold them. This is going to be the outside. So I did five inches, five inches, and two inches. So it'll be like that. That'll be the outside. And then these ones, I'm going to have to do four and four. So you want to do that with me, you can. And then I'm going to ink them and see how they are. I'll just do one because this can get boring. But I'm just going through marking four inches. Marking... Because I don't have a scoreboard. Or you could use a scoreboard. That would be easier. But I don't have one. So let's do it like this. Four. And from this point where I had the pencil mark, that's where I'm doing four from. So we do that kind. Okay. So what I did is I just used this to write a line. Because I'm going to um, ink, the, ink the folds anyway. So it's not going to make a difference. So I have this one, oh, not underneath, on top. And I have this one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold these. How do I want this to sit? Do I want this to be on this side? So I'm gonna make this on this side. So I'm gonna fold it this way first. Well, actually, I'll fold it this way first and then fold it back. That way you can see the fold. I'm just going to fold it right on that line. Like this. So it's straight. And I'm going to flatten it with my scissors. Oops. Fuzzy. From lace. Okay, so I didn't use my favorite paper for this. Only because I didn't know if it was going to work or not. And I was kind of scared. So, okay, this can... You can fold it back this way because that's how I want it. Okay, so then this is going to be like this. And then it's going to fold like this. So we need to fold this one this way. We can line it up right at that line. That's cool. And, yeah, like that. And let's put this like this. So what we've got is we will glue this, which this is supposed to be smaller than, oh no, like, this. I'm sorry, I'm like, what am I doing? So this will be sitting in the, in this, like, this will be this way, and then the other one will be the opposite way. So I hope that that makes sense. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the other one, and then I'll come. Okay, you guys, I got them folded. Now, I didn't ink up them yet, but I wanted to show you how this is going to work. So this one is going to come out like this and there's going to be a pocket right there and then there'll be pockets on here this is going to come out like this and there'll be a pocket there and you know pockets on here and then um yeah i don't know how we're going to decorate it and stuff but i'm going to go ahead and ink everything and then i'll be back okay you guys i inked everything up now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do i want it like that or do i want it yeah i want it Okay, I'm gonna put, I was gonna put a quarter punch there, but I don't think I have enough room. So I'm just gonna glue them down as a pocket. So I got my hot glue gun only because I'm trying to make these stick and I don't wanna wait forever. Oh, that's not good. So 
and I want to make sure that they yeah my desk is so cluttered I want to make sure that they stay so I'm gonna do this because hot glue definitely makes sure that they stay especially over stitching and things like that so let's put this down like in the middle probably like this <laughs> so okay. okay, this is a, just a really cool idea. I've been looking for something to do that's not just like same old, same old, you know what I mean? And this looked really, really fun and not too hard, really. So let me try it and see how it goes. I might, this might be a how not to video, but I'm trying to make it good. Okay, so we're going to put hot glue, wait, have it like this, so hot glue is going to go on this side, sorry if I'm off camera, I don't mean to, like I said, I always hold things close to me, I don't know why, Oop. I want that, okay, so he's going to go like that, ow, I burned my finger, don't do that, don't burn your finger, I'm just excited because this could be really fun to decorate, guys. I think it'll be pretty cool. Just want to make sure that these stay down. That's why I use the hot glue. Okay, let's see. I need another glue stick, too. So let's put that in now so we have it. Just in case. I'll put that guy in there. Swing it back over here. I got so many extension cords in my apartment, you guys. I'm sorry. I need to talk louder. Okay. So what this is going to do is it'll fold over like this. We need to put like a like a closure and stuff. But right now we're just going to um, do this. So, yeah. So that goes like that. That goes like that. Now we get to put pockets on. So I brought over the paper that I had left over. Oh, crap. Look at that. Who does that? Me. So let me go grab the paper that I had to put pockets on here. Okay, I just have the off cuts from this. So I have this color, because that's like that, maybe. And then I have, let's, yeah, and I have this one. So these can go anywhere. I have this one, which I'm definitely going to use. And I also have pockets that I've already made, but I'm kind of trying to stay in the same, you know, color, whatever. This one. Um, this one I like, too. Like that. Right there. Um, I've got this one, which I think that's cool. And I think that's about it. So the other ones don't really go. I kind of pulled them just in case, but we'll save those for later. All right, so what are we gonna do? Okay, so these pockets should be, let me get this apart. Ooh, crap. Okay. These, sh holy moly, what am I dropping everything? Of course, that's normal, right? Okay, so these should be, make sure that they're about three and a half inches wide. That looks so pretty there, but it's covering up. Well, it's not covering up a lot. So three and a half inches wide. So let's just measure this here like this and we'll tear it. Like this. Right? Is that right? No. It's not right. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And we'll just tear it. Whoa. Way too much stuff on my desk, guys. I need to work on that. Okay, so let's go ahead and, you know what? Let's just figure out what pockets we want and then we'll put them in. Because this is too much stuff on my desk. I'm getting, I'm getting overwhelmed. Okay, so let's see him right at the edge there. Oh, that went a little crooked, didn't it? Think on it, you can cut that. Okay, 
Okay, so that would be one. You could use either side, but I like that side. Um, let's see. Another one would be, how long? There's my little roller. About three inch, three and a half inches. So like right there. And probably about, let's see. That high. So let's do that. Let's, let's fold it first so I make sure I got it straight. Uh, line it up with the edge. There we go. You guys, I don't know if Clue's sick or what, but I think she keeps having gas or something because I'm smelling this weird smell like she pooped or something, just being honest. And I cannot find it anywhere, so I don't know if she. She's just having belly problems or what? I feel so bad. I'm like, what's going on, Clue? Do you need something? you need some help? She, and she's just laying around too. She's not really being herself, so I'm kind of worried. Okay, so like right there. So we're gonna do I can follow the lines of the wood here. Okay, and then probably like right there. So I'll fold him over like that. Hopefully I'm doing this right. I'm not really measuring that much. I'm try I'm just trying to I think I can handle this. I'm not sure, but we'll see. I don't need this guy, I don't think, right now. Put him over here. And let's see if I can tear this. Yep, pretty good. And then the only thing is there's like half a butterfly there. Uh, maybe we'll put something over that. Um, what about, or I could just use the other side maybe. I could use this as a side one. Do you want that? I'd say probably about Mm, two inches. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. So we'll do that. So right about, just put one right there. And then we'll cut that probably, how long is, okay, seven inches would be the top. Oops, sorry, I hit you with my head again. I have a really bad habit of doing that, don't I? So right there. All right, so let's cut it this way first, right along that wood grain. That's a good part about having straight lines on here so I can follow them. Yay. So I've been concentrating so much I haven't really talked, but um, I don't know. I guess I could tell you this funny story. So um, I went to get gas the other day and I had cash and I usually don't carry cash that much. Not because I don't want to, just because it's more convenient now. But, and don't laugh. I only put $10 in my gas tank. That's something I'm known for. I don't like to give a whole bunch of gas in my gas tank. At the same time, I don't know why. It's like a phobia. It's like not have enough gas phobia. Not spend too much money on gas phobia. I don't know. There has to be a term for it. I don't know. Anyways, I was putting $10 in gas in my car. And um, let's try another one. And I pulled it out of my wallet. And I had it my wallet like this. And I pulled it out and I ripped it in half. And I was like, we both just sat there. Me and the lady. She's like, uh. And I'm like, uh. She goes, I have tape. And I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm like, Thanks. That's cool. So uh, let's see. I'm gonna do. Do I wanna do this one? You could split it in half. Let's see. Let's do this one first. All this stuff. Okay. So about three and a half inches long side neck. Three and a half inches. So right there. And we'll measure it up here too because I don't have a line to go by. So we'll do three and a half. And then 
Let's just cut that first. This. Probably still off, but. And then we'll line it up with this side. Make a straight, even thing. Right? Right. Okay, so there's another pocket. Oops. And. I kind of want to make one of that, but. Um, maybe one like this. Or do we want something else? Do you want, oh, I wanted to use this for sure. Let's do one like this. I love this. Okay, so I think the last, I think this should be the last two we do, but we'll see. Okay, so one. Oh, it's not going to work. It's going to be too long. Okay, we'll move in a little bit. First, let me just cut this edge off. So we can get everything in there. So we're gonna do, there's a method to my madness, really. Okay, so three and a half. Uh, we'll just go a little bit further, so. Do that. And probably like, let's do another one up here. We did this guy. And we'll make him about that. A little about that tall. And let's see. Okay, so run him like this. Okay, sorry this if this is boring. I just wanted to take you guys with me as I pick out papers to do the pockets with because you know that's kind of important too. Alright. So that looks pretty good. And then we'll do this part right up here because I think that's super pretty. So let's just go straight up. Hopefully I can make a straight cut. And then this guy comes off like this because it's a perforation thing. That looks pretty too. Okay, so let's see how many pockets we have at this point in time. And see if it's enough. Let me put all these papers down here. I was going to use this purple in there too, but I didn't. We'll see. Maybe if we have even some more pockets, but... Oh my. It's so true what they say about crafters. Like I said before, your desk is a mess, but that's the only way that you know everything you have. And you can look at things you have and get inspired. Because if you don't see it, then you're likely not going to use it because you forget you have it. Do you know? That's my excuse anyway, and I'm sticking to it, so forget that crap. Okay, okay, so let's see. Well, first I'm going to have to go through and ink these and make uh, thumb holes, so I will not make you sit through that, but I will be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm thinking that this is going to look good here, so let's go ahead and glue this on. And like I said, I'm using hot glue just to save time and make sure it sticks. So let's do this right against the edge there. Yeah. Okay. And I think I might need some more purple stuff because a lot of these that I'm going to put tags on are purple. So let's see. But we could just use this here. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to put him here. I just put him right above the stitching. That way it's easier for him to be glued down. And let's see. Maybe like this guy here. Ooh, he's cut a little crooked, isn't he? Of course he is, because I did that. I need to ink him again. Okay, so... There, maybe, or do you think maybe over here? Hmm, or do we want no that blends in too much? What about over here? No, I think it looks best on here because it's got the purple in it. I kind of think we should just put. 
put it down here. It's a little taller than the other one, but that's okay. Right? Or should we put it up? Or should we put it over here? And put this one over here. Yeah, I like this one over here. Better. So, are we going to put it over there? Or we're just going to put them in the bottom. Hmm. I think maybe just the bottom for now. I'm not sure. Oh. My hot glue is not working. There. Sorry, I'm, I'm talking low again. I'm sorry. I keep doing that. I really don't do it on purpose, for real. Really, seriously, guys, I don't try to do it on purpose. Okay, so this guy needs to go... That's pretty. What do you think about that? I kind of like that. All right, we'll put him there. Because I don't really want him on there. So, yep. So, here he goes. Let's see. All right. And there you go. All right. Now we're going to do this side. I don't know. What do you think about that one? I think that looks pretty cool there. Move it up a little. Alright, we'll do that one. Okay. Stick them in the middle like this. So how have you guys been doing? Have you been crafting too or just kind of in a slump? I was in a slump for a while, for real. It was not good. You guys know that. I told you about it. About him there. Uh, I think he looks better on purple. I'll we'll put him there. That looks good. I know it blends in, but it still looks okay, so... Yeah, I kind of lost my mojo for a while. I knew I wanted to craft, but I didn't I didn't have the urge to craft really cuz I just down and stuff. That stinks when you're depressed, you know what I mean? But now I'm doing it, I really like it again. So that's really cool. Um and I missed you guys too, by the way. What about him there? You think or there. Probably there, I think. Uh, let's see. We're going to have to cut some more pockets out. Let's figure out how many more we need here. Okay. So we need one. We probably do a side one there. Or... Maybe a side one. Maybe a side one there or there. What do I have? I have purple. Should we do a purple one? No, I don't want it to be straight up purple. Because I have this orange background, but it's all from the same thing. Do we want that as a side? That would be pretty. See how wide it will go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I'd really like to hear what you guys have been working on. Because that inspires me to do stuff too, you know. Right there. Oh, I like that. Okay, this guy's going to be on there. Let's see if we can fold him right. Um, I'd say right about there, probably. Yeah, I like that. Oh, no, nope, didn't get him right. Dang on it. Of course I did. That couldn't happen. That never happens. Okay, you guys, you know, we've been so busy at work. It's been crazy. I tell you what. We've had so many people come through because of the leaves on the trees and, you know, the Amish and everything like that. It's 
been crazy. At least it hasn't been boring, though. I will give him that, you know. Is this chair? I'm going to tear it from this side. Fingers crossed. Okay, got it. Use that too, but we'll see. Let me work on this one. It needs to be probably will be like this short, I think. And I saw this, I was like, oh, I want to do that because it looks pretty inter intricate. In intricate, yeah, that word. <laughs> and it looks like it would be, do you want it like that? Or do you want it like this? Huh. I think like this. So let's go ahead and round the corners and Oh, do I want to round that corner? Did I round the other one? What did I do with that? Yeah, I did. Uh, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Oops. Oh, today I was so lazy, you guys. I didn't hardly do anything when I got home. I just kind of laid around. Chloe got disgusted with me. She was like, Mom, if you don't put food in my bowl right now, I'm going to get extremely mad at you. And I'm not going to snuggle with you anymore. That's what she said. I was like, dang, girl. Let's hold some grudges. And then I had the cat <laughs> across the way on my screen door again. <laughs> it's it's kind of nerve-wracking when you look up and there's a cat hanging on your window. Like, looking at you going, hey, you want to let me in? Uh, No. <laughs> Uh, not really. Not because I don't well, want to, but, you know, Chloe, she'd get mad, so I won't do that. All right, so let's go ahead and hot glue this side. Ooh. <laughs> you know when you work in customer service and you go somewhere and you get terrible customer service and you're like, how do they get away with that whenever I get a kiss butt all the time? You know, and you're really nice to them. You're like, okay, so the pharmacy where I get my medicine from, I was like so confused on this prior authorization thing that I was supposed to get in order to get my medicine. And I didn't, I've never had to do that before. And I, I asked for their help. I was like, you know, oh, we should do a corner. No, because that covers that up. Maybe an upper corner. We could probably do that. Um, but anyways, uh... Yeah, I was really confused. I just kind of tried to talk to him about how I get go about this because I didn't know I had to do that, you know. And the lady that answered the phone and was talking to me cut me off at every turn, was extremely mean to me, acted like I didn't know what I was doing. And I said, and I had talked to my doctor first. The pharmacy had said that they were going to send a pre-authorization over to my doctor. I had to just call them a couple of days before I picked up the prescription. And I was like, okay, I can do that. So I called them and then she said, oh, we can't send that prior authorization for a couple of days yet. And I was like, okay, well, I was kind of told that I was supposed to let you know. No, we can't send it in till then. Well, that day happened to be a Saturday. So I'm like, oh, my doctor's not going to be in that day, but whatever. So called him on Saturday and I'm going to make this behind there and make it look prettier. And um, got the same woman again. She was extremely rude to me. And I was like, well, no, I called him on Saturday, asked him to please send that over to my doctor, couldn't explain to him why I called that day because I was told to. She was really mean to me and she said, well, no, you already had the prior authorization. You're just going to have to pay cash for it. And I'm like, no, they didn't send it in. They told me they had to wait until I picked up the next refill and to call it a couple of days ahead. And she's like, oh, well, we'll send it over. I'm like, okay. So I'm thinking it's going to be sitting on my doctor's fax machine until Monday, right? So, oops. So I call my doctor on Monday morning and I'm like, hey, you know, I, I, I had called them ahead of time to tell them what was going on. You know, I was like... There's this pre-authorization thing I need you guys to do. Um, they're supposed to be sending on Saturday, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I, sorry, this is my glue book, guys. So I called them 
the doctor's office on Monday and she looked and she's like, no, we haven't gotten anything from the pharmacy yet. And I was like, hmm. So I called the pharmacy again and I was like, hey, um, can you send that? Um, I didn't say anything about them not sending it. I said, can you send that? Why did I do that? That's wrong. I was supposed to do it. <laughs> I was supposed to do this one. Think on it. Why do I do stuff like that? Now I gotta tear another one. I don't. I can't really use that one. Well, I guess I could use it here, but that's gonna cover all that up. Think on it, Nick. Stop talking, and crafting at the same time. You stink at that. I know. So, anyways, uh, she. I said, you know, um, can you please send that prior authorization to my doctor? And she's like, we did. We sent it on Saturday. And I was like, uh, no, I called them and they don't have it. She's like, well, we sent it. And I'm like, well, could you send it again? And she's like, oh, I suppose if you don't have the authorization yet, it's probably not going to go through. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, can you please just do what you said you were going to do, you know? I'm just, like, trying to be nice. She's super mean to me. Acting like I'm such a pain in her butt. And her name was Joyce. I'm going to put it out there. Her name was Joyce. She probably never watched this video or anything. But, oh, my goodness. And so I'm like, who's Joyce? Because usually everybody at this pharmacy is really nice to me. You know, they're really helpful. I've been going there forever. So, I'm like, who in the heck is this Joyce person? So I go, I the prior authorization was going to take days to, to go through. So I had to end up paying for it because I needed it, you know. And I think it was her fault because whenever I picked it up, the, the lady that got me the medicine, she's one of the ones I like and I'm really, and she's really nice to me and stuff. And she was like, um, you know, you whenever you send this in, well, it'll get pre-authorized. It takes a couple days, but... For the next prescription, next refill you have, it'll be on there. And I was like, really? Because they told me when I got the first refill and paid cash that they couldn't do a prior authorization until a couple of days before I picked it up. And she's like, no, that's not right. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is like, what is going on? So that was my experience. I finally picked it up. I had to pay cash for it because it didn't go through. So, you know, altogether it was like $200. I'm like, you know what? This is just stinks because can't like at my job I try my best to help out people as much as I can and even when they're yelling at me I don't yell back usually I don't think I've ever yelled back I've had a stern voice but I've never yelled back you know and I just think that's the way customer service is supposed to work really I mean and it bothers me that I work in customer service and I deal with that and people other people who work in customer service don't get that and they're so mean but whatever it is what it is, I suppose. So, what do you think for the bottom of that one? Maybe something different. Da -da -da. In the back of this one? No. 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 Uh, what else do I have? I have this one. What about that? Or have this one. I think that one was best. Okay, so we're going to do that one. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this other pocket and put him... I might put him... I might make him a belly band or something. Because I don't want to cover all that up. I can do that. Okay, either way, I'm going to let you go. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Bye, guys. Okay, you guys, I got all the pockets put in. I've got, okay, so this is what it's going to look like when it's closed. Okay, and then um, you flip it open. This is going to come open, and it's going to have that pocket, that pocket, and then side pockets, and then this is going to have that pocket, that side, and then that corner tuck, and then these two pockets. And so, um... This video is pretty long, and I'm trying not to make them super long, so I'm going to cut this video off now, but I will. the next video I make will be us putting tags in this and decorating it. So, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your support. Please subscribe. Please like. Please share. Please comment. I'm trying to make my channel bigger and do something with this thing, and I appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.